has its me charm. So last time, nag-iwan ako ng question kung ano yung gusto niyo malaman tungkol sa design of the research. So for my next vlog, we will talk about the design of the research. So comment down below for your questions and we'll answer that on my next vlog. So ayun na nga, nakuha ko yung mga questions ng mga nag-comment sa post ko and then inipong ko siya para bubunitin natin and yun yung sasagutin nung makakasama natin ngayon. So ilalagay natin siya dito dahil wala akong fishbowl sa cup na lang. Pipili tayo ng isa dahil yun yung sasagutin nung makakasama natin ngayon. So ready na ba kayong malaman kung sino yung makakasama natin? Presenting... So ngayon, for our first question, first question, So ano daw yung research design? So what is research design? Research design is the framework of research methods and techniques chosen by a researcher. The design allows the researcher to hone in on research methods that are suitable for the subject matter and set up their studies for success. So it is a systematic plan of what is to be done, how it will be done, and how the data will be analyzed. So kagaya nga ng sinabi ng partner ko, the research design daw is providing the outline on how the research will be carried out and what methods will be used. So next question, Mark, so what are the three types of research design? So there are three types of research. Number one is exploratory, number two is descriptive, and number three is explanatory. So number one is exploratory research. It is an important part of any marketing and business strategy and its focus is on discovery of ideas and insights as opposed to collecting statistically accurate data. That is why exploratory research is best suited as the beginning of your total research plan. So it is most commonly used for further defining company issues, areas for potential growth, alternative courses of action, and prioritizing areas that require statistical research. There are two types in conducting exploratory research. Number one is the primary research. Under these are surveys and polls, interviews, focus group, and observation. Secondary research are online research, literature research, and case study research. Next is descriptive research. So unlike exploratory research, descriptive research is pre-planned and structured in design so the information collected can be, be statistically inferred on a population. The main idea behind using this type of research is to better define an opinion, attitude, or behavior held by a group of people on a given subject. So last is the explanatory research. What is explanatory research? It is conducted for the problem that is, was not well researched before that demands priorities, generates operational definition, and provides a better research model. It is actually a type of research design that focuses on explaining the aspects of your study. So the researcher starts with a general idea and uses research as a tool that could lead to the subjects that would be dealt with in the coming future. It is meant to provide details where a small amount of information exists for a certain product in mind of that researcher. So basically, if you're going to do exploratory research, most of your questions starts with what? What is happening there? So descriptive research naman, your initial questions mo will most likely start with how. Like, how do these things work together? So last, yung explanatory research, uh, yung research mo might be starting with why or why those things are happening. So to sum it up, so yung exploratory research is the initial data or answering the questions what, 
what is happening there, anong nangyayari doon, anong meron doon. So, like that. So, in descriptive data naman, is more detailed. So, uh, tinatanong natin kung paano, paano nangyari yung mga bagay na ganito. Uh, paano i-improve, paano yung, paano mag improve yung isang bagay. And then, yung explanatory research naman, uh, will explain why things happen. So, why those things are happening. So, yung explanatory research is the highest form uh, highest order of research and then it lies both exploratory and descriptive research. So next question is from Chap. What is qualitative research? So what is qualitative research? Qualitative research is defined as a market research method that focuses on obtaining data through open-ended and conversational communication. This method is not only about what people think, but also why they think it so. Qualitative research methods are designed in a manner that they help reveal the behavior and perception of a target audience with a reference of a particular topic. So what are the examples of qualitative research? Number one is one-on-one -on -one interview. So it is a personal interview that is carried out with one respondent at a time. Number two, focus group is also one of the commonly used qualitative research methods used in data collection. A focus group usually includes a limited number of respondents from within your target market. Next is ethnographic research. It is the most in-depth observational method that studies people in their naturally occurring environment. Number four is case study. This method may look difficult to operate. However, it is one of the simplest ways of conducting research and it involves a deep dive of and thorough understanding of data collection methods and inferring the data. Number five is record keeping. These methods make use of the already existing reliable documents and similar sources of information as the data source. Number six is process observation. The qualitative observation primarily used to equate quality differences. Quality observation deals with the five major sensory organs and their functioning. Sight, smell, touch, taste, and hearing. Recap lang po kung ano yung mga types ng qualitative research. First, one-on-one -on -one interview, focus group, ethnographic research, case study, record keeping, and process of observation. So next question from Pin. So what is survey? Then what is a survey? A survey is a research method used for collecting data from a predefined group of respondents to gain information and insights into various topics of interest. They can have multiple purposes and researchers can conduct it in many ways depending on the methodology chosen and the study goal. So types of surveys are online. Online surveys have the mostly used survey data collection method. And then telephone. Telephone surveys are a cheaper method than face-to-face -face surveys and less time-consuming too. Next is the face-to-face -face surveys are the most widely used methods of survey data collections. Then paper or print are the least used survey data collection method that is now being used most commonly in field research. So, uh, so yun nga, in engaging in the survey, so kailangan din natin isalang-alang ang mga respondents natin. Dahil nga, meron na tayong Data Privacy Act uh, 10173 na kailangan isecure natin yung personal information na nakukuha natin sa mga respondents natin. And also, kapag nag-refuse sila to answer, uh, they have the right, and also, they have the right to refuse to answer the questions. So, recap kung paano tayo gumagawa ng isang survey is through online, telephone, face-to-face, -face, paper or print. 
So next question is from Harvey. So ano po yung observational studies? Observation research is a qualitative research technique where researchers observe participants' ongoing behavior in a natural situation. Yung observational studies dog is watching people from their natural environment. For example, uh, sa isang restaurant, sa isang bookstore, sa mall, so ganon. Ganon natin ginagawa yung observational research study. Oh, last question na nga po is from Ali. So, what is test marketing? What is test marketing? Test marketing is a tool used by the companies to check the viability of their new product or the marketing campaign before it is being launched in the market on the large scale. The market test is generally carried out to ascertain the probable market success in terms of new product performance, the level of the acceptance of the product, customer satisfaction, and the efficiency of customer of marketing campaign. So in test marketing, ginagawa siya kapag may mga new product na ilalunch sa market, kung paano yung pagtanggap ng masa or ng mga, ta ng mga consumers. The test is conducted in consumer behavior in terms of first the trial. So whether a consumer will try a product at least once. Ito yung mga ginagawang uh, free taste, food tasting sa mga mall or groceries. Next is kapag uh, yung food taste is bumili or repurchase yung isang consumer, ang tawag doon is repeat. So next, adoption, whether the consumer accept the product and will repurchase again. So last, yung purchase frequency or how often will the consumer will buy the product or kung uulitin pa ba ng customer na bumili ng bumili ng bagong product na nilunch ng isang company. So that ends my video. Thank you for sa next ng mga questions. That ends my topic. Ito na po yung bisita ko. Bye-bye!